Andasibe Forest is one of Madagascar's many wildlife tourism destinations. Owing to the coronavirus lockdown and closure of the borders, the lemurs that live here have recently had more alone time than they're used to. Visitor numbers are gradually increasing, but with international flights still suspended, the usual foreign tourists are being replaced by Malagasy people. This family made a four-hour drive from the capital to come and see their island's iconic creatures. During the lockdown, I decided I really wanted to get out of Antananarivo when it was over, to visit new places we've never seen before. I'm really happy to see the lemurs because they're not in captivity. We're seeing them in their natural habitat. It's so exciting to see them up close, to see their way of life, even the way that they eat. Madagascar's tourism workers welcome the locals, but it's not enough. They need the footfall provided by international flights, though these have not operated since March 2020. This hotel and landowner used to employ around 100 people. The majority of them have now been unemployed for more than three months. Usually at this time of year it's high season and we'd be 90% full. However, now the tourists are not typical tourists but local visitors and we're no more than 5 or 10% full. The pandemic is also having a disastrous impact on local nature. Forest guide Pascal has noticed a large increase in deforestation, the like of which he hasn't seen in over 30 years. Because of the lockdown, many local villagers have cut down the trees for firewood because they can sell it. Others make timber. They're illegally exploiting the forest to make money. And as the trees burn, so does the natural habitat of the lemurs, mammals that only exist naturally on this island. This is a fragile ecosystem, but it is crucial for Madagascar's tourism industry, a sector that accounts for 7% of the island's economy.